Hey guys, we're back at the workshop. Today we are going to glue up the Damascus knife and make some scales for the other two knives which I made. The scales are already cut up and yeah, just let's get to it. Alright, so for these two knives we have cut up some scales in OD, OD green and black and we have another knife somewhere um, with some purple scales which I'm really looking forward because I've never worked with purple and it looks pretty dope and we have the Damascus. Well, it's not focusing, so we'll show you later. So I will do another edge. I'm not really happy with the result. I just want to have a more deep and richer color. And we are going to use those hybrid, um, not hybrid scales, um, those burl scales. For Start up with uh, etching this one again, do some drilling on these ones, and then we are going to uh, work on these ones so we can glue them up, and then after the glue up we can work on these ones. Alright guys, so we are now going to do uh, those other two knives which we have ground yesterday and heat treated and everything. Um, we drilled out the holes and as you can see the scales are already attached and that is because I'm using screws. For these handles I do prefer screws over pins because pins are just more work, the glue up, you always have to be careful. With screws you can just screw it on, you can take it off. You know, you can do the whole knife, you can put a whole finish on it um, after you worked on the scales. You know, I can now finish the scales, how they should look, then I can take it off, put the finish on the knife, and then I can put on back the scales. With pins, this is not possible, because with pins you have to put on the finish, then you have to attach the scales to it, and then you are grinding around it, then you have to put on the finish on the tank back. So it's always just a hassle, but with those one, with the screws, it's just super simple and easy, and it's also really durable. So because some people are saying, well, the screws are coming loose, well, I do Loctite my screws with blue Loctite, so um, they can get loose, you know, after a while, but then you're just uh, retightening them, you know. Um, so that's why this is pretty cool. I do prefer this method over the pinning, and it also looks a little bit more tactical, you know. Um, there are downsides to the screws. Sometimes you can't carve in like a finger notch or so with the screws because you can't grind into the screw. Um, like for the pins, you can just grind into the pin, you know. Um, but we're going to now shape those scales and then we are like do everything on the scales. Um, I will do a stone texture on this one um, because people were interested in how I do my stone texture and we will do a normal texture I think on this one um, and then later on I will sandblast the scales. I grind up my scales to 120 grit and give those scales a nice texture and I preferred over uh, the normal sanding method what a lot of people do and especially with the stone texture it's much easier because you don't want to uh, sanding out a lot of notches uh, which we are going to add in this one here
Alright guys, so now with those scales for the bigger knife, we are going to add a stone texture to um, the scales and a lot of people ask me how I'm doing that and I'm just turning around my grinder um, so it's horizontal and I'm using the smallest contact wheel I have. I think this is a one inch contact. Um, I might, this is a 240 belt now, I will change that to 120 grit and then we will just um, go along and rock in those patterns just how you want. You can also do um, like an Anzo pattern um, where you have to be really exact, you know, but I do prefer the, uh, the rock pattern and it's also easier. Um, and it's actually pretty simple. Now you might ask, well, how can I do it when I pin my uh, knives? You can also do it with your belt grinder if you have a belt grinder. Otherwise, you can also take the Dremel. Um, now you also will ask, well, I don't have a sand, sand blaster. I can't um, blast my scales. Um, you can also um, use a dowel and sand out all these little um, concaves or like these rocking patterns um, or you can use um, what I also used was a Dremel with 120 grit you know if this is enough for you uh, maybe you can go also higher or you just take a lot of effort and hands and that's just the secret behind it um, but with the sandblasting it's just pretty simple and easy for me um, you can as I said you can also do that with pinned um, scales but with the screwed scales it's just easier to move it around you know and it's also safer because you don't want to damage your knife while you're moving around the moving belt and the contact wheel so that's just how I do it it's pretty simple and I will just roll the camera and you can see how I do it
yeah you can see here the yeah the rock pattern on it I will do later a close-up but that's just how I do it and what I will do now I will now attach the scales to the knife because I also want to do a rock pattern on the whole spine and on the grip because at first it's like jumping it gives you a nice look and it looks pretty cool not everyone is doing that and I think it has also some nice uh, it's more grippy on a spine and everything it's like as I said like jumping but I think it looks cooler than jumping Alright guys, so I just took out these two knives out of the tumbler and we also have to take out the scales out of this jar. Um, I do that always, I have a jar full of linseed oil and um, I just chuck them in there, the scales, and then leave them in there, maybe sometimes for days, sometimes just for a couple hours, so the G10 can soak up all the oil and um, I think this is better than um, just rubbing on the oil um, just one coat or two coats um, it's just worked better for me I also do it with the wood I do it like with all scale material I just um, chuck it into the oil so it can fully soak up all the oil and then you have a nice oiled um, scale and not just the surface so the knives are now out of the tumbler I really do love that finish it just gives the knife way better finish than before because before I did it, as you may know with my uh, stone tumbler it was a huge jar of marbles and I just checked it around or before that I used um, stones just gravel and it was just grayish and some light scratches in there but this stone wash is just way much better um, uh, you can see it later in the close-ups when I finish those knives um, because after the assembly we have to start with the sheaths and then we have to do the sharpening and then we are basically done with those knives and I also added my logo in here um, but you will see that later in the close-ups Alright guys, the day is over, like the garage door is open and I can smell so many people just grilling outside because the weather is so good and it's just hard to keep working 
when like just smells like barbecue but um, I'm done for today uh, it's now nearly seven o'clock uh, in the evening and I'm lucky to tell that these knives are finished um, I have some mounts on them and some leather straps and they're pretty sharp um, as you can see they're both the same sharpness and I'm pretty happy uh, I'm sorry that I couldn't record everything but I was in kind of rush because I have to leave now and that's why I couldn't record everything because recording is a lot of time consuming and but the other knife as well also pretty sharp you know shaving sharp I could shave my beard now but I won't do it so um, yeah guys I still hope that you enjoyed this episode I hope that you learned a lot from this episode if you have questions about something I haven't explained maybe in the video just ask me down below in the comments and if you like the video just hit up the thumb up and yeah guys um, I have nothing more to say oh yeah if you want to see my knives or more of my knife work check out um, my Instagram channel on Forgeworks it's the same name as my YouTube channel and yeah just go by there if you're not coming from this channel and there you can see the other work I have done in the past so I hope you guys have a nice week and yeah guys see you next time